Hello everyone, Johnny from WP Johnny here. Today I'm going to show Divi users how to locally load their Google web fonts. So instead of loading it from Google, you're loading it from your local server. So what is the problem and what are we trying to fix here? First, I get to my developer tools, network tab. I'm going to reload the site so I can see all assets being loaded here. Okay, and as we can see in the waterfall, I'm just going to move this over. Everything loads pretty fast, and then, what's this? All this junk at the end, always the slow external request, the third-party request going to other servers. These are all the Google Fonts calls, right? And they're loading from Google Font, the Google servers, not from your server, which loads everything faster. You can see the fat wide bar. Okay, so if I just hover my mouse over this real quick, let's take a look, a brief look. We see Lotto and a whole bunch of different sizes. Then we see uh, one size of Paprika. Then we see Roboto in like every size and style, right? Every size, uh, it, the regular uh, style and the italic style. So that's just how bloated page builders are. You pick a web font and it just loads every version of it, even though you might not use all of them. Um, so we're going to do a quick inventory check. I use my really handy fount tool and I'm just going to click around and just see what sizes are being used. So Roboto 600, um, Paprika 700. Uh, what's this? All right, Roboto 500. So Roboto 5 and 7 and Paprika 7, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Roboto, I'm sorry. Roboto 5 and 6. And what is this? What the heck is this? That's Roboto 6. So Roboto 5 and 6 and Paprika 5 and 7. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, and I click around and check the footer, I click menu, body text. Now I'm going to reload this page and I'm going to check another page just to make sure. So, you know, some sites, uh, some client sites, they have like a store and, you know, all these different templates and each template is using so many different font sizes. You have to check in many different places. So Paprika 5 and 7, Roboto 5 and 6, Roboto 5, 500, 600, 700. So, so they could have saved themselves a font here by just using Roboto 600 again, right? Now, remember, we saw three fonts. We saw Lotto. So where the heck is Lotto? So when I don't see it, there is a little way that I check. Uh, you can view page source real quick and just type in the name and just see where it's used. Okay, here I see it in the header and then I see NCF sidebar. So what I do is I'm just going to do a quick Google search and try to track this bastard down. And uh, uh -huh. so I, I, I found it before a ninja kick and I also asked the client, I was like, hey, what is this? And he said, it's a ninja kick contact form. So we're not going to remove the web font from that. We're going to leave that alone. We're doing just Divi today. So, OK, so we know what sizes we're doing. Um, and for some of you who don't have the handy fount tool like I have, you can just inspect and you're going to have to manually. It's going to suck a little bit, but you have to inspect. And then you map right here. Uh, I'm going to move this over so you guys can see. We're going to look for the font family. It's easier if you just type in family and there you go, right? So do that for every font and you're going to be able to track it down. Now we go to Google Web Fonts Helper and we're going to just download these Google Fonts so we can upload them to our server. Paprika has just one size. We pick modern browsers only, right? Which is just the WAF and WAF2 formats. We don't need EOT and all that stuff for like the old Internet Explorer browsers. Right here, I need the theme name. Okay, because it's going to type that into the style sheet. Remember, the two dots goes back one, and then we go into the theme and then into the fonts folder. So here you go. That is correct. We have this. Uh, we're going to download the font. Great. And we're going to copy this, right? We're going to get to the, our, our style sheet, our child theme style sheet. Don't, don't do it in the customizer add-on CSS. Do it in the style sheet. Okay, we hit update um, here. Now we're going to go get a uh, Roboto. And so I now uh, you I'm going to pick 500, 700. I didn't see 600 in here. So I guess it's like a pseudo size uh, regular. We don't use. I didn't see the client use it. I didn't see the client using italics. So I'm going to try going without it and seeing how far I can get. Um, once again, I got to do this. Right. And if we notice that something looks ugly, then we just go and download the missing font. Right. Uh, OK, there you go. And we're going to download this. And we're going to add the uh, font call here. And if you want to type some notes like, oh, heading, body, whatever, you know, to remind you where you're using it, you can. Um, all right, so let's just uh, open these up in my local. All right, and you already know. So remember, we, we created that fonts, uh, fonts directory, right? Look at, look at the path here. Dot, dot, 
So into the, the child theme, oh, here, look at there. Into the child theme, into the fonts folder. And then we book it, we put it in there. So here we go. I'm going to create directory fonts. There you go. Put it in there. Open this up. Open this up. So it's just three fonts, right? Instead of like the 20 fonts that it was loading before, it's just three. Uh, we have the styles in place. The only thing we have to do is tell Divi to disable the Google font. Divi is really easy. It has a really handy setting right here. You just hit disable. If you're using Elementor or another plugin, you have to put like a snippet in your functions.php and then it disables. I'm going to hit purge all. And don't mind my slow computer every time I reload, uh, every time I'm recording. And let's just reload the page and see how it looks. See if anything's missing. Yay. All fonts look good. Check the home page real quick. That's important. All fonts look good. Everything looks good. I didn't miss anything. I don't think so. Let's just do our check the network tab again. Pull this up. So you see he's got, he's got that sticky load. I don't like the way he configured the caching, but that's not my story for today. So as you can see, this these fonts, that's it. It's loading locally. It's not from Google Font. And uh, up here, Google Font is now only loading Lotto because of that plugin call. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.